PowerShell is a powerful scripting language and is often used to automate certain tasks that would otherwise be repetitive, tedious and error prone. Automation really starts to provide value when it is applied to more complex tasks. But these complex scripts might also have more chances of throwing error and eventually breaking. While the script is executing, there are so many things that are not in your control. Like security account is denied access, some server is not reachable, application service may not respond, machine configuration may have changed, etc. Without logging, it is hard to know if a script ran fine or something went wrong. For example, here, how we will know at this time an error was thrown without this log message, correct? So, if something goes wrong, logging can help us find out where and why the error occurred and this ability makes it an important part of our scripts, yes? While it is perfectly fine to use PowerShell's built-in commandlets for writing the log messages, it is always good if we can find out some module for this to get additional features, right? So in search of this, we come here to PowerShell gallery and search for logging and hit enter. And this first module itself is what we are looking for. So it is an external module and we need to install it in our system in order to use it. So we can just copy this and launch PowerShell. We need to launch PowerShell in admin mode. Install module name login. Hit enter. I'm expecting an error because this module is already there in my system. But this is very trivial step and you can follow it very easily version is already there. This is perfectly fine. Let me close this. Now let's try to understand this module in detail. We can go to the project site from here and the documentation is available. This is also fine but I would like to take you through this site where the same modules documents are published and this is better in look and feel. Yes. All we need to know about this module is well described in this example. So let's try to understand this. First of all, we can set the logging default level. Why this option is given is because not all the time we want to see all the messages. For example, if an error is reported for your script and you are investigating it, you want to set the default level to debug which will ensure your logs are displaying all different messages written by the script. But if your script is running smoothly from quite some time, why do you want to see so many messages? Instead, you would want to concentrate on warning and errors. So to respond to such needs, we have this provision of setting the default level where we can set the level according to our requirements. Correct? Then we can add the logging target. If you want to see the log messages on the console, you can add console as a target. If your script is doing something significant and you want to go back in the time and see the log messages, you can add this file also as a logging target specifying where you would want to write your log messages. And then this module will help you to write the messages into file as well. Next, we need to understand this write log commandlet which comes with this module. Here we are setting the level of our message. So out of debug, info, warning and error, you can pick an appropriate level and set it here. This Wait logging commandlet ensures script will wait for 30 more seconds to finish off writing the log messages before it ends, right? So it is important for the unattended scripts. 
you can go through these document snippets to understand these commandlets better. For now, this much understanding is good. Now, let me take you through this example which I have prepared for you. It is almost the same example except this concept that I choose to write my own function instead of directly relying on this write log commandlet and reason is this say anything if you want to change for example I want to add more time or say tomorrow I get some better module than this logging module and I want to change it in those situation all I'll have to do is change this statement and I am done. Writing this small function will save me from the effort of replacing this commandlet from so many places. This is the simple reason why I chose to write this function, right? And we have set the default level to info. Our logging targets are console and the file as well. And this is the for loop. So, okay, this is not needed. I am writing all the messages with error level, right? So let's execute this and see. So we can see all 10 messages are printed over here. And if I show you this file, yes, all 10 messages are available over here, correct? So I'm changing the default level to error. And this time I am writing debug messages. You understand the difference correctly? This is the default logging level, whereas this is the level of current message which I'm writing. So let's see what it prints this time. Come on, so no message. Why? Well, simple, right? Because we have set the default level to error. So any message which is below this level are not considered. If you want to see all different messages, including debug messages, information, warning and errors, we can change the default level to debug and, and now we can expect all different messages. So let me execute this script again. All the messages are appearing here as well as they are appearing in this file also, right? All right, my dear friends. I hope now you are clear on this logging module. It is very simple concept but often very helpful. So I would urge you to use logging for all of your complex scripts. Well that's it for this lecture. Take good care of yourself. Thank you.